Corey Sandhagen. Wow, this knockout was so sick. Uh, Frankie Edgar just collapsed, like, like so stiff. Like, it was just like a stiff board. Like, the cleanest knockout. Such a clean knockout. You know, it reminded me sort of of, like, the Jorge Masvidal flying knee. Um, but I just, I love those flying knee KOs. It's just, like, he got hit by, like, a truck. It seemed like he got hit by a truck. Um, hopefully he's doing okay. Uh, Frank Edgar, you know, he's, he's 39 years old now. Um, but he's, like, a legend, you know? Um, what do you think is next for him? Who do you think he should fight? Like, who's his opponent next? Um, so, Corey Sanhagen, if he didn't lose to Aljermaine Sterling, he would have had 10 wins in a row. Um, unfortunately, of course, you know, he, he lost to Aljermaine Sterling, which, you know, Aljermaine Sterling, maybe he's going to be the champ. I don't know. Um, Peter Yan is really a really tough guy to beat. Um, I think I made a video on this, but I feel like Peter Yan would probably win and, you know, retain the belt. If that's the case, then, you know, have Aljamain Sterling and and Corey Sanhagen rematch because that that would be amazing. And if Corey, Han Corey Sanhagen can, can beat Aljamain Sterling, you know, um, maybe then he, he'll be next. He'll be the title contender. Um, you know, that's how I see it because uh, that knockout, I mean, you can't just... You know, you got to give him something, you know, uh, maybe not like a title shot right away. Um, being that, you know, Aljamain Sterling, Aljamain Sterling is really good and he did submit Corey. So, um, but it, that's the thing too, like if Aljamain Sterling wins the rematch, you know, then he's going to have to get another win probably to get another shot at the title, you know, because... The thing about UFC, which is like kind of funny, like with the rankings and everything, like all these guys and girls, they kind of like end up like just all fighting each other, right? That's how it is. But, you know, you kind of have to like use like your best judgment because sometimes it's hard to gauge like who's most deserving, right? Because you have someone like, for instance, what happened with Alexander Volkov, right? Um... Maybe a lot of us will think like, oh, you know, he has enough wins or, you know, it, it doesn't depend on how many wins in a row. It depends on who, you know, who he beat or the fat in the, in the fashion, you know, and like the style that he beat him. Like, was it a really easy win or was it like something spectacular? Like what we saw with Corey Sanhagen with the KO, like there's so many different factors. So it's like, it's like. Yeah, like what Aljamain Sterling did. And also Aljamain Sterling has so many wins like in a row, you know. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Hopefully he doesn't lose to the belt. But then again, I, I like Peter Yan too. Like both of those guys are really good. Um, stylistically, stylistically, I still think Peter Yan will win, you know. I still think Peter Yan will win. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks.